Hello, this is Mr. Huff. Let's talk a little bit about your engineering notebook in my engineering classes. So this is a screenshot from thebookfactory.com, their special information section, where they describe what an engineering notebook is for. And I've had several students ask me over the last few years, why don't we just go digital? Surely it's not paper in the workplace. And that's been a valid argument, but I couldn't get around how to solve all the problems uh, that you run into with digital notebooks. Uh, but this is the year to make a change. So in industry, uh, we didn't use uh, notebooks for legal record. That was done through a document control group. So we actually had a team of people whose only job was to review and catalog documentation uh, so that it would meet legal requirements. Um, paper notebooks were just for the engineer's reference and not regarded as uh, legally binding because they were just notes. So, so let's uh, take a look at this. What I'm planning to implement this year is something between a notebook and a portfolio. So it's not truly a notebook and it's not truly a portfolio. It's just a way of being organized is what I have planned. All right, some considerations for paper-based notebooks and where digital fails. Uh, for paper-based notebooks, it, if you work from the beginning and work your way through dating and crossing out blank spaces and that sort of thing, you can produce a chronological record of your work. If you're inventing something on your own, this is a good idea to do this. Uh, for our digital system, though, uh, we intend to show that. Uh, we are going to have that, but in a digital context, that is an extremely fluid thing, the chronological order, because it's very easy to manipulate. Uh, also, dates and signatures are not real uh, in this context, unless you have like a document control system, and we don't. So it's just going to be Google Drive. So the thing is, you could throw some stuff in there and rearrange it however you want, which is both good and bad, but the problem is showing chronology is kind of broken when you switch to digital. Another problem uh, in a paper-based system uh, you can clearly see if pages have been removed because if you have numbered pages and it skips a page or shows tearing it's obvious that the records have been uh, altered. However in the digital world this uh, it utterly fails at this there's no way to tell if something has been added or removed uh, conveniently so um, in the real world again you would have a document control system where you had time and date stamps and sign offs by staff and all that sort of thing uh, cataloged for legal purposes but in our world where we're using google drive to accommodate some of this is far too flexible and we can't show if the chronology has been tampered with.